Uh, so it's um, quarter five in the morning, and um, uh, we have to imagine that the um, alarm has gone off to say the blood sugars uh, are not right. I think you can see me actually. Let's put, let me move to a, a lighter. You probably don't want to see me, to be fair. Let me put. A, there you go. Oh, no, that's not a good look, is it? Let me stick a whole lot. Oh, ouch. Uh, so we have to imagine that it's um, that the alarm has gone off and uh, the blood sugar levels are, are not great. So um, I now have to go into my child um, who has type one diabetes and, uh, and draw blood from them um, to check as the alarm has gone off. I'll check the monitor. Um, and then I have to take uh, some blood and, um, and then possibly uh, given a, a boost of uh, a glucose, I think it is. I'm not sure I'll have to read up on that or, or not um, to make sure the levels are right. Now, it's okay, you know, as a parent, you're getting up to do that because you, you know, you love your kid. But if you've got a young kid with type one diabetes, then you know you're waking them up at ten to five in the morning. And you know, I got a kid that, that ain't pretty. Um, so uh, this is my first bit now. So I, uh, I'll imagine that I'm doing that at this god earthly time in the morning, and um, try and get some sleep before getting up at. Uh, I think it's about an hour. I think to um, to uh, prepare breakfast and do all the malarkey again because uh, you can't let the sugars drop you have to keep them the sugar level at the right uh, time which is constant so um, this is my first posting uh, for Royce's Anytime Challenge uh, to live as a parent with a child with type 1 uh, diabetes thanks <laughs>